Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is your lady, and today I wanted to share with you all my DT project for Renee Book Shop. Uh, today I decided to do something very different. I'm going to do a topper for any project. It could be a car topper or it could be an altered project uh, topper. Uh, something that you can like make many of these kind of, of toppers that you can just have to layer down on an, any project that you are doing or you have done before. So yes, so that's what I'm going to focus today. And here I made one and I have everything cut out to make another one with you all. So here, as you can see, and all my bases is just papers, uh, die cuts, and chipboard pieces from Renee Bouquet's shop. Um, it's just a lot of yumminess here. I just love, love, love. So you can see here closer because I had to uh, change the lighting on the camera so you can see better the detail of the chipboard piece. And it's just gorgeous. Look at her. She's just, oh my God, I love her. I love her, love, I love her hair. And oh my God, everything is just beautiful. Now this doll, she has a coordinated butterflies also on chipboard. I decided to use those instead of the other butterflies that Renee Bouquet carries because I wanted everything to match together. Now I use a uh, papers that Renee sent me and now I do know uh, remember all the names because I did combine a lot of papers uh, that will match with the team because I wanted this to be purple so it will come you know it will uh, play very nicely with the doll um, here as I say I have a lot of die cuts and I use a salt shimmer spray I don't know if you can see the shimmer in there, but I did uh, use shimmer at the end of the of the project, so it will shine. You see the hello here. Now the hello I just hang right it there. Um, it has uh, other chipboard pieces from Renee Bouquet's shop. Um, some um, threads from my stash. This is just a crochet thread that you can find in any any craft store. Um, so yeah, so I will going to show you what I have now. Now I put this a uh, fabric place here so I could cover it. So I could show you for the car, the the topper because I don't want it, you know, because all the stuff going on in my table. I don't want you to to get lost in there. But it's something I had this a uh, mini album that I have been I put in here, something that I want to finish. And um, so I, you see like here in this uh, cover, it has nothing there and you can put something like this in top and your project will be already done. You see something just very simple. You can put this in uh, in, ca in boxes as well and put it in there and it will be just completely decorated. So that's something that you might want to try it. I really, really love the idea of having a topper's finish for you for when you want to do something very fast and you don't want, don't have the time or don't want to do all the process that goes with decorating. You already had this done for you, so you just have to put it there and done with it. So here, as you can see, I say, I do say I have a lot of die cutting. I many of, uh, of the die cuts I did not use like these flowers here I did not use them um, but I let them there because you know I wanted to show you all the I cut uh, here are the butterflies that came with the doll and look at her she's just gorgeous look at her and it's so so beautiful and you see it's both sides you see here and it has different directions, so you can have the choice which side you want to use here. And I just love that. I love, love the ocean. And so, yes, yeah, so here are the butterflies that I'm going to use that combine with the doll. Uh, I had this uh, cut out doily. I had this border die cut, and I just rip it uh, because I wanted that distressed look, as you can see here. I wanted that distress look and now I'm going to use the distress ink it's called shade lilac from mm, tin holes and this is because again I'm using purple colors and I don't want it to use anything vintage uh, like you know like vintage photo anything like that I wanted that to play with my project I also cut out this um, tab in more of that purple colors 
Uh, here are just uh, strips of paper that I just rip because these are, you know, the little details. Here are some banners that I did with the, you know, these stoppers of the paper when you had the 12 by 12 and this layover, I made these little banner flags to decorate as well. Here is another one. Now here I use my die to cut this part over here, this uh, card here. Um, so what I did, I just cut it. I just cut it, I made the banner. I don't care, it has this curl in there because this is all part of using everything that you are, uh, you have your stash, you know, all the leftovers, every scrap. All these die cuts were made with scraps of paper. And so yeah, so I'm very, very happy. There is some leaves and flowers. This is the circle for the test message. And more scrap paper they just rip to you know to put decorative accents to it. And it's stuff like that. It's just again, it's whatever you wish to do. Now here are the these die cuts. From the dice on my side, you can use anything. You can just uh, cut it in, in squares or whatever shape you want to by hand. Um, I did cut it using my dice and I use uh, eyelash, eyelash, no, these uh, brats just to, you know, to give that, that touch to it. And I, I made two of them in different sizes. You can make a tie. I just wanted the same shape and I. This is the, the the other side that it has, but you can use an, a smaller side, that's fine. Again, you can use anything that you wish. Now, here are more of the chipboard pieces. Now, this is layer after layer project, so yes. So, I, here I have some eyelash trim in blue, and here I have the crochet trim, and it's like a two, three color thing. It's, it has like pink and purple and blue. So this is what I cut for my two tags in there. And this is the gorgeous lace from Rene Bouquet's shop. Again, I will put all in the description box below the links to everything that I use for these projects. So yes, so you can, you know, you can try it. Now I forgot to put on my, my glue gun because I have I haven't used them as much as before because I use my super fabric tag that it glues anything and is super super strong and very permanent a glue. So yes, so I love using this. So now that I have showed you what I had, we are going to put together all this uh, topper. So let's go ahead.
are they? They are completely finished. Uh, the one that we did together and the one that I have already done. Now they look completely, uh, they are look as they are like the same, but at the same time they look a little bit different. And this is the direction of the dolls because this one is looking that way. And this the first one that I just looking the other. Um, so yes, so layering and everything they display, it changes when the dolls look to another way. But it has all the same layers, and I love the idea that they are like the same, but at the same time they are not. So yes, so I, I like it. So this is the one that we just did. And you can see the shimmer and mist is still wet in there. I do not want to use my heat gun because I have so many... Uh, you know little things in there and here and there i do not want to ruin that by using my heat gun and i do not have any rush to dry it so i will let it dry off its own this one is already dry because it was done before so yes yeah, so you see all the shimmer or the mist look at the here in this banner here where it says hello it's very shimmering and everything over here as well i love love all the shimmer mist love it i love the doll i think she's absolutely gorgeous i love it and i have worked before with sheetboard pieces from the next shop they are with dolls and they are so so beautiful and elegant and when i saw these ones they were new and i just had to use them i just had to have them and play with them and so yes i'm very happy now it's for everyone's taste and different colors and everything so you can see there is another a uh, chipboard piece is a color chipboard piece of this little girl and her toy doll and did you can do you know you can do these toppers to add to your projects this is a fairy now Renee always carries different sizes there in her shop, even uh, three sizes, like large, medium, and small. So here are these two that you see here in, in small and medium. And it's so, so pretty. Again, this one is just like this one here that has these butterflies that coordinates with her. Just like this doll. You see the butterfly that coordinates with her wings? Well, this one is the same. And it's just, she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. And I love, love, love her. So here is this one. Oh my God, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And it has all this glitter here. It's like stickles in golden and silver. It's just beautiful. And here is in blue. It's just beautiful. Now look at this tag. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Here is one of the other ladies that I have used the other ones, and look at that. They are so beautiful and so elegant. And here is this gorgeous angel here, it's just beautiful. So you have many choices in the store, is even more stuff there for you to, you know, to play with. And again, I will let all the links in the description box below to everything that I use in this project. And also to uh, Renee Bouquet's social media, Facebook, is, um, Facebook, the blog, and the website store, and the Etsy show as well. Uh, so yes, so thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you later on. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye